Greetings. This training tutorial discusses configuring project settings in contract management in order to set up the workflow for change management. We're currently viewing a control uh, center view in contract management. Going to highlight a project, in this instance, demo project, school edition, automotive center. And I'm going to right click on the project and select project settings. Once project settings opens up, I'm going to access the tab entitled Change Management. This is where I can document my preferred workflow to progress a possible change through the final change order process. The settings are divided into two sections. The budgeted section up here at the top that deals with the revenue side of your project and the committed section down at the bottom which deals with the vendors, suppliers, and uh, commitments to subcontractors. As you can see, you can advance each section through four possible phases, the estimated, to quoted, to negotiated, to the final phase. At each phase of the change, you're able to decide and identify what your preferred document is that you would like for contract management to create. Additionally, over here to the right, you're able to identify where you want those dollars to be deposited on your cost worksheet. If I look at the committed section, I can see that my plan would be to uh, send out an RFP to my vendors and suppliers requesting a quote. When I receive the quote, I would advance to the quoted phase, in which case I've decided I'd like to have a change order request document created to document those quotes. If I look over here to the right, I can see that the dollars will be deposited into the pending commitment changes column on my cost worksheet. I can then advance the phase or the, the change process to the negotiated phase where I can go back and forth with the other parties of this project to negotiate the price. And when I do so, I can create what's called a proceed order. And again, those dollars would be deposited in the pending phase. Eventually, once I get approval from the owner, I can then document the final change order with a change order document. And then that once that's approved, that would show up as an approved change order. The actual process would go as this. I would send out the RFP. I would document the quote. I, I may negotiate dollars. At that point, I'm ready to submit the change information to the owner. That's when the budgeted section would kick in. So I can then progress the change to the owner through the estimate, quoted, and negotiated phase, hopefully arriving at a final change order document. So these are the, this is the preferred workflow that we're going to be using in the uh, change management process in this scenario. Stay tuned for video number two, where we will actually progress uh, a change through the final process. Thank you.